Here's a video demo for my uh, 66 uh, Fender Solid State FE 1000 uh, uh, tape echo. Um, been rebuilt, all service, good to go. New tape. Um, the echo is the echo volume, the reverb is the feedback, um, which you might have heard earlier on as I can get it. And get it kind of self oscillating. With the feed, and then you have a reverb limiter too, so you can drop that if you don't want the oscillation at all. And drive the dog nuts. This is a uh, long tails or long delay. I'll take the oscillation out. And then this is your short, like your slap back. switch down to gain. It does add a little bit of a preamp in there, so it does add some uh, some gain to your signal. Um, it has a switch here for PA, which I don't know what that is, but it's a lot more wet. It's almost like a sound on sound, I guess, um, if I had to describe it. Maybe it's pre... I don't know. I don't know what it stands for. The delay is so thick that it has a delay on, you know, when it reacts. But you could, you know, you can set this and make some tails. Um, these are kind of hard to find and they're even harder to get working. It was not easy to uh, fix this thing and changing that tape cartridge really sucks. Um, the tape itself is probably only like two and a half, three feet long in the total. Um, so it doesn't have as much um, storage as like the Echoplex does. I think these are made by Echophonic uh, because Echophonic always used this disc. Inside here is some bunch of uh, nylon bushings that uses rollers um, for the tape path. So um, yeah, if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching.